One humble minister who had walked through many storms in life led members of his church on a trip to Israel. Gray skies, wind and rain to plague the journey. As Reverend Butler says, during the darkest storms of life, God is closest to us. And on this day, God was near him in a way he could never have imagined. It was wet, cold, and it was windy. We started out in Jerusalem, in the old city, and finishing down at the area that's known as the South Steps, or where Pentecost took place. I went up to the steps and I bowed my head, I, I um, prayed, and I said, Lord, I pray that people will see you, know you, and love you through my witness and life. In Jesus' name, amen. And uh, the Lord prompted me in my heart um, to turn around. I was a bit emotional and my eyes were blurry from the tears and I just took seven quick shots and uh, didn't really line it, sight it. Um, I took the steps right in front of me, I turned around and took the wall behind me. They weren't exactly professional. That night as we were getting ready for dinner, I was going through my phone deleting my pictures. Most of them get deleted, um, they're not very good. The first thing I saw was the crown of thorns. It's imprinted on my mind. I mean, there was no question of seeing Jesus' face in the clouds. The eyes, that's the first thing that I noticed. Oh, his outstretched arms. I mean, he was just, you know, just like you would, would picture it on the cross. It's obviously an image of Christ. I mean, it even brings tears to my eyes now. To me, it means redemption. The message is for all of us. Uh, it's not based on our ethnic background. He came for all of us. It's a God who is trying to give us back what was lost in the Garden of Eden. And we're trying so desperately to find trees that have good things on it, and we just seem to keep hurting ourselves. The only remedy to the tree that we messed up with in the Garden of Eden is the tree that was planted at Calvary, and it's called the cross. And that's the tree that Christ died on. these things begin to take place, straighten up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. 